Hello everyone and welcome to the next episode of our survival series. How is everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. I'm just boating around. No, I'm I'm not. I, I just put this boat here like a few episodes ago. I don't know why. So yeah, it's a, it's a thing. I wanted to do the intro here. I hope you're doing well. Hope everybody is having a good time. Uh, let me just show you a little bit what I worked in between the episodes. So the last time we made that mud thing over there. And uh, now I just worked on the pathing a little bit. I did make a path to our um, lava farm and to our mud farm. So those two are now settled. They should be all good, all set. And they should be producing. Oh yeah. We do have a lot of lava at this point. I, I was collecting in between the, the episodes. And here we have this little path that I made. It looks pretty good. I would say pretty, pretty nice. But today I wanted to work on uh, agriculture. Agriculture, as you know, very important, especially when you uh, have mud farms, you need wheat. You need a lot of wheat. So let's see. I did close off this area of the mountain and flatten it out a little bit. This bit over here, this bit over here. And I'm planning on continuing to do so and flatten out this whole area until this big ravine. So this big ravine will be like our uh, limit, our border here. And uh, we'll do a little windmill over here and the rest of it will be wheat fields. So whenever we need, you know, mud blocks, I can just come here, harvest the wheat and make mud blocks. Pack mud and then uh, mud brick or whatever we need. And I want to have all of my blocks ready to go. So uh, we're going to do that. Also, there's a bunch of dark spaces here that I'll fill in. And uh, let me get onto it. Finish this whole area up. And uh, I'll join you back. So that we can go and start building the windmill. All right. Woo. Okay. <laughs> that was a lot of work. But let's see what we're working with. So. Flatten this bit, flatten these bits and slope them down. And here on this section, I think we'll make the windmill and whatnot. And of course, we need to terraform around it maybe a little bit. But this is what we're working with. And how I imagine it is that we have like wheat fields, wheat fields and a windmill and maybe a bridge to connect these two. Or maybe a path that goes all, all around this thing. So yeah, eventually we'll have all of this built out with different stuff that we need in the world. And yeah, it uh, it will be cool. All right, let's get to planting the weeds. This will be a good one, I promise. Oh my, it does take some time, huh? <laughs> oh, oh, I forgot to hydrate this. My bad, I goofed on, I done goofed again. Whatever they say, I'm not sure how you say it. Is it done goofed? I, th I think that's, that's the one. I should learn it because I, I goof a lot. But here you go. This is basically the the strat. We're going to go turn everything into farmland, plant it down with wheat, and uh, we should be set for wheat. Like we can we can have one harvest and make a zillion blocks. No, I'm joking. Not a zillion, but a lot of them. So uh, I'm going to work on this, try to finish it up. So this bit needs to be done. Then I need to go down, lower myself to these slopes. Maybe add a security fence. I, I don't know if I showed you this, but if you if you just look over the board here. Uh, you know, <laughs> you can easily curse plot down there. So yeah, that, not a good time. I, I might need need to put li like a little fence on the on the side just because of me, of course. And if I ever have guests in this world, you know, I don't, I don't want to get my guests to fall off a cliff. All right, everybody, we're back. And uh, the, uh, you'll notice that this video is kind of late. That's because uh, I kind of had the change in my complete system. So we're running on Linux right now. And uh, let me tell you, the game works much better than on Windows. My recording software works much better than on Windows. So I think uh, I think it's a keeper. 
to be honest. It's uh, pretty late at night, so my voice won't be cheery as usual, but let me show you what we did because I want to get this episode out. I know that I've been late lately, sorry about that. So here's the wheat field. Here's the whole thing. Uh, let me just... Uh, actually, I have the free cam mod. Let me just show you how it uh, how it looks. So here you go. That's the whole wheat bit. I just put some uh, walls here. Got them all up. Got this little path going through here. This is not finished yet, but this is what we're working with right now needs to be uh, thicker here and I need to add some additional supports on the sides but I like this combination this uh, doesn't look half bad other than that it was it was a grind and then I had my whole system changed so yeah that was a whole thing but hopefully we're off to much much better videos also I'm thinking that I uh, will go uh, will do next video using shaders so we can compare that and you can tell me which ones do you like better. The shader ones or the regular ones. Let me get into building this uh, little windmill here. So what I was thinking here with building this would be that our base should be like this last bit. I want it to be circular. So we'll start with something like this. We'll go three there. We'll go this one there, and then we'll go like this. Another one, another one, another one. Then again like this. And you just do the same until you have your circle finished. Let's see if we have enough blocks. I, I might need to get more blocks. But let's try and finish this. So we go like that. And we're almost done. We'll just use the stone. So this is basically what I want to, uh, what I want it to look. So this will be the base, and then we'll just have uh, a little bit here expanded, like a little expanded bit that uh, we can use for um for the entrance for the house, like that. I like to visualize my builds and uh, not the house. The I've done did it again. The windmill. All right. And ladies and gentlemen, it is done. This is what we're working with. This is the, the windmill. I I tried multiple times to, you know, to do it properly. And this is what I came up with. Oh my god, uh, it's always good when there's a storm coming your way. Let's try if we can sleep. In just a second, Minecraft doesn't want me to show you this, but I'll show you. Doctors don't want you to know about this. You know when they say that? <laughs> Alright, so, here we go. A basic structure. Stone, mossy stone, mossy cobble. And some more details. I'm not done yet. But this is how the thing looks. Alright, and uh, here we have the thing 
almost done. Interior has been pretty work. Uh, we had another storm. I just slept it over. There's probably, you know, undead around the, the whole thing. No, no, only the the dried meat. Yeah, uh, dried meat. That's what we're going going with. Okay, this is done. We're working on a on a path here through the wheat fields all the way here and down the path that we built before. I need to finish this, link it up with the bone bridge, and then we can call it done. And if we just do this and action, okay, there we go. So this is this is it, gamers. I think I'm done. Not not done, done. But you know what I mean. My builds are never complete. So let's uh, let's take a walk because uh, we do have a walkway to our farm now. Let's take a little walk and let me tell you what happened this week. Mmm, fresh salmon. Mm -mm -mm. So yeah, you remember this structure? This is our bone bridge. We all know the bone bridge. We all love the bone bridge. We all enjoy the bone bridge, right? I just finished, so I didn't clean up, but we will clean up together because you guys are very uh, are a bunch of busy bees, and you always clean up behind you when you play Minecraft. I know that you do. So we have a little transition from here, going upstairs, up here, and then it connects to here. This is a bit chaotic and really busy, and I'm going to work on getting it solved and uh, better fit. But at the moment, I uh, I already am recording this episode for like eight days, which brings me to uh, what happened. So uh, at one point uh, last week, I had um, a bad experience with uh, Windows, and I just kind of said to myself, you know what, you're gonna give it a shot. And I'm like doing the video and it, it crashed, I lost material and I couldn't couldn't record it in time. I'm like, okay, you know what, we're, we're, we're going to try to switch up to Linux again. And um, I did it. And boy oh boy, am I happy. Uh, 10 out of 10 would recommend. I'm currently running this puppy on OpenSUSE or OpenSUSE. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. A recording in OBS, streaming. By the way, Twitch.tv slash Augusta Zebulon, if you wanna catch me there. Streaming, recording, playing Minecraft, smoother, smoother than I ever could. It's, uh, it's working. G Vilkers, it's, it's working. Everything is working, everything that I need though. So, um, yeah, you know, read on it. If you think it's uh, a good thing for you, definitely give it a shot, check it out. And uh, yeah, I would I would recommend switching off because I had nothing but issues ever since Windows 11 came out. It was like, you know, for a little bit it was like working, but afterwards, yeah, nothing, nothing special, mostly issues, troubleshooting those same issues, working for a few days, then issues again, and nobody likes that, right? So um, yeah, we switched off. But nevertheless, this is our little windmill. These are like our chests for the wheat. They're empty at the moment, but we'll fill them in with wheat. Uh, our emergency bed, if we need to sleep. Our chest for other stuff. Yeah, that's uh, that's about it for now. So thank you, thank you very much for uh, joining me here today. And uh, I hope that my next episode will come out soon. Because I know, God knows, it took me eternity to do this one. Please, if you like this video, like it. If you want to see more, subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one, gamers. And I have one message for you today. Find a loved one and tell them how much you love them. Stay safe. Much love. Yes.